Let's start on top of Old Smoky. This is a live look at the current conditions over Buffalo, clearing up a little bit. But tonight, many school districts will not be having after school activities because of the air quality. Most Buffalo's Danielle Church joining us now. And Danielle, the governor is also recommending that schools cancel outdoor activities as well because of this. Yeah, that's right, Kate. So the governor sent out a statement today saying she's making the recommendation because most of the state has air quality that's either deemed unhealthy or very unhealthy. Now, earlier today in Buffalo, at last check, the air quality was considered unhealthy. But as you heard Maria say, it is getting a little bit better in West Seneca and Sloan. It was measuring at one point in the day at 230, which is considered very unhealthy. Now, to put that into perspective, the State Department of Conservation says they get worried when it hits 100. Several school districts have made the decision to cancel after school outdoor activities because of the poor air quality. They include Amherst Central Schools and the Kenton School District. Buffalo Public Schools and Grand Island Central Schools have canceled them both for today and tomorrow. Now over in Grand Island, Superintendent Brian Graham says they have a chief medical director who they consulted in addition to following some other guidelines. We're really following uh, what's already been established uh, through other uh, states. Uh, California in particular has a document that uh, outlines uh, air quality as it relates to smoke. Uh, obviously, they have more wildfires to deal with than we do. So we're really using uh, those standard benchmarks uh, to determine uh, when to limit uh, that strenuous activity outdoors. Uh, and that includes uh, our personnel as well. You know, you know our folks that uh, work outdoors, we want to just limit that uh, time, uh, limit that strenuous activity. At Persistence Prep Charter School, they got creative and moved their field day indoors. This is just some of that. Some Little League teams also made the decision to cancel all their games today, including Lakeshore Little League and Amherst Central Little League. And coming up at 6, we're going to talk to a general manager of one of those teams and why he says this is really impacting their season. Kate, back to you. All right, we'll see you then, Danielle. Thank you.